guys, it's Miss K Chris and welcome back to my channel. In this series, we're going to talk about money. <laughs> money, 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 money. Okay, so on this first part of the series, we're going to talk about how do flight attendants get paid? So there are three ways that flight attendants get paid. That's why it's kind of very tricky when you ask somebody how much is their sweldo if they're a flight attendant and it's kind of hard to explain. So that's what we're going to try to explain in this video. Okay, first way that a flight attendant gets paid is the basic salary. So this is what you will hear sometimes they will say my salary is 15,000 but that is just the basic. Okay, usong uso yun sa Pilipinas na mababa yung basic para mababa yung tax, di ba? So that's the basic salary. Whether you fly or not, as long as you're employed, you get the basic salary. So the second way that a flight attendant gets paid is through flying time or flying hours. First 50 hours around average 100 pesos here and abroad, it's the same. And if lumampas ka na ng 50 hours, yun na, nag -iba, iba na yung rate. Some companies, they pay you 400. Some companies, they pay you 200 on your 51st to 80th hour. And then on the 80th, above you na aabot ka na ng 500 per hour or something like that it depends on each company and uh, each company policy so iba iba and the third way that a flight attendant gets paid is through their per dime or per layover allowances so when you stay at one place and you stay there overnight may bayad ka sa buong araw or sa buong overnight na pinag mo doon um, there are also different ways that companies pay this it's either isasama nila sa sweldo mo or ibibigay nila outright habang nandoon ka sa, camp, sa lugar na yon sa hotel mismo bibigyan ka ng allowance in the currency of which country you are staying at so aside from this there are also the different allowances or perks that you get depending on the company I remember merong perfect attendance ano perfect attendance bonus uh, meron ding rice allowance yung ibang mga companies depende on how they incentivize their flight attendants so so there are basically uh, so to summarize yun nga you will get your basic allowance your flying pay and also your per dime and additional allowances and bonuses so that's how flight attendants get paid on their job on the next video, we are going to talk about the range of uh, how much does a flight attendant earn. Or, <laughs> okay, I'm going to name names and put some figures on your head. But always remember that these factors, the flying time, the basic, and the layover affects it. That's why I cannot really give you an exact flight attendant salary so make sure that you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't yet already been subscribed para ma inform ka of the new video that is coming up and i will see you guys on the next video fly with you soon bye so for philippine airlines international they earn about 